Hey, Robin here from Post Professionals. Here, just one chapter from one of my longer videos for easier access. But if you prefer to watch the whole thing in one go, you can find the link either up here or down in the description. Either way, I hope you enjoy. And if you do and it was helpful, maybe do me a solid and give me a thumbs up or even smash the old subscription button, which really helps the channel. Thanks, and now this. So lastly, let's turn our attention to Compressor. And while Compressor has once again seen the least amount of new features, they're still not exactly insignificant and once again prove that the belief that Apple somehow doesn't care about professionals is still complete nonsense. Because especially Compressor now has several new features that will be primarily, if not exclusively, of great relevance to professionals. To start things off, should you, for example, use Compressor to optimize or transcode your ProRes RAW footage before ingesting it into Final Cut Pro, you now have the option to set a RAW to log conversion and or the option to convert log encoded video to SDR or HDR color spaces using either one of the standard camera LUTs from the inspector or even importing one of your own. But you can also apply a third-party LUT to video files using the new custom LUT effect. And then there's the new IMF creation. Yes, now you too can create those self-destructing audio and video clips for the Impossible Missions Force. Yeah, well, maybe not. Okay, IMF, in the context of Final Cut Pro and Compressor, stands for the SMPT standard interoperable master format. IMF is effectively the successor to the Digital Cinema Package Architecture, or DCP, something anyone that has ever had to deliver their work for a movie theater, for example, will be very familiar with. Only that IMF provides a complete and single file interchange unit for a distribution channel and is now easily created with Compressor. And while this may not mean much to many people, the fact that Final Cut, or rather Compressor, now supports the creation of IMF files, I'd say is actually a pretty big deal for the aforementioned professionals. So, how's it done? Well, in usual Apple manner, very easily. With the project, with all its video, audio, and even various subtitles that you'd like to export as IMF selected in Final Cut Pro, you simply go to the File menu to Send to Compressor, and then New IMF Package. And with that, Compressor opens with a new untitled IMF package in the batch list. The three audio roles I had in my project are listed individually, and I can select them to assign various metadata, such as name, languages, as well as use the inspector for things such as field order or camera log if needed, and then simply start the batch. And if you've already output your various media stems individually, you can also manually put your IMF package together by selecting new IMF package from the file menu and populate this with the needed metadata. So, was that helpful? Again, if so, then maybe give me a quick thumbs up or even hit the subscription button and little bell to help the channel, which allows me to continue to produce these free tutorials and so you don't miss future ones. For that, a huge thank you in advance and I hope to see you in the next one or maybe in one of these videos that YouTube thinks you need to have seen as well. Either way, until then, take care.